often disappointing. That is, it was. Now. Reality can be whatever I want. After double movement was removed, keyboard and mouse players have been desperately searching for the next best thing. There have been some crazy options like the Wooten keyboard which is very expensive but will give you that controller movement. Other options however have also popped up and I'm sure that many of you know by now what Rewaz is. If you somehow don't, Rewaz is basically software that can remap your movement binds and make them controller which will give you some godlike movement. If you've been in my streams in the past few days, you'll already know that I've actually installed and set this up and given it a good try myself. Unfortunately, Rewaz does have input delay that I personally found very annoying, and on top of that, you can technically get aim assist with it, which does make it a little bit dangerous to use. And we can't forget that Rewaz isn't actually free. Luckily, I managed to find an alternative that is not only free, but safer and honestly nicer to use, and that's why I'm here today. I'm going to walk you guys through the installation and setup, show you what this software looks like in game, and talk about why I think it's safer. Let's get into it. So the software we'll be showing off today is UCR and it's also a remapper for your keyboard. To get started, go to all three links in the description and download the files. You'll be needing all of them. For the VGM, you don't need to download both, just the one that matches your system, which for most people will be the 64. Once you've downloaded all three files, I would recommend putting them in your desktop just so they're easier to work with. You'll notice that two of them are zip files, so you'll need to right click and do extract all, which should be up here. If you don't have that, you're going to need to download some sort of unzipping tool like 7-zip that I have here or WinRAR. So once you've unzipped the files, you should have the folders you can work with now over here. You can see that my UCR one is here and my interception one is here. Next, you want to go down to the Windows search bar or press the Windows key to pull this up and just type in CMD. This will pull up the command prompt, but you don't want to press enter just yet. You want to choose run as administrator. Next, you want to double click on your interception folder and go to interception, command line installer, but you don't want to press anything just yet. Instead, you want to right click on the command line installer up here and click copy address. Now that you've copied the address, you want to go back to your command and type in CD space and then control V or right click and paste to paste in the address that you just copied. If you're messing up this step, this means that you opened the wrong interception folder and you're going through the zip files. So make sure you go back and copy it from the right unzipped folder. Now you want to press enter. So, so all that's going to do is that's just going to pull up this line right here. Then you want to go into the description of my video and what you can find there is something that I'll tell you about it in the description, but it'll basically say copy paste. And what you want to do is you want to copy that coming right here and just paste it in right here and press enter. So at this point, you actually have to restart your PC. So I'll see you in a second. All right, welcome back. Now what you want to do is you want to double click on the VGEM bus and it's going to be an installer. So you're going to have to go through the process. I hate when YouTubers say I've already done this part and then they skip it and you got to figure it out yourself. But honestly, it's a fairly straightforward process. So uh, yeah, I've already done this. So you guys are going to have to go through it yourself. So next, you want to go to the UCR folder, double click on that, and then find the UCR application, which should be easy to find as it will be the only one with a dark colored logo. You just want to right click this and choose run as administrator. Now you should have a window that looks like this pulled up. So you just want to press the add profile button and name your thing whatever you want. I named mine DBL MVMT, which is a cool short way to say double movement. And then under input devices, you just want to choose your keyboard. If there are multiple of your same keyboard, you just want to choose the highest one. It'll work just fine. And then under output, you want to scroll until you find VGM Xbox 360 controller one, select that. And then all you have to do now is hit create. We're almost done here, guys. So now all you have to do is actually add the double movement stuff. So first you want to go to button to axis and click the plus right here. And I would recommend naming these really well so that you can stay organized. So for example, I'm going to map D first. So I'm going to say right. And that's just going to be the name for this command. So to bind your D key as your input, just click on this and then press your D key on your keyboard. As you can see, just like that. And to bind your output, you want to click on these three dots axes and go to LX. And now your D key is perfectly binded. Now for the left key, we're basically going to repeat what we just did and we're going to stay organized as always. So we're just going to make a new one, you know, name it left, click this, press A because we're going left here. And then we want to choose the right one. And actually we want to choose LX again, 
but you guys will notice here that it says 100 so for the first one you just want to leave it there but for the second one which will be left you want to change the 100 to a negative 100 so just add a minus sign right in front and that's actually it all you have to do now is make sure that you save this and now whenever you press this play button it's just going to activate and you'll have double movement in game now that you've set this up i want to address a few things first of all it's not as good as rewas i admit that the movement ucr provides is much better than a keyboard but it's not as good as a controller there are however a few reasons i prefer this first of all it has less input delay I found from testing that Rewaz actually had a very noticeable amount of lag, which took away from the experience. The second reason is that I think this is safer. Now until Epic makes a statement themselves, I don't think they'll ban anyone for using software. There's simply too many people and don't forget that the Wu-Ting technically uses remapping as well. However, Rewaz does have the option of aim assist, which makes it much more dangerous to use than the UCR. Personally, I think both are safe to use, but I'm going to stick with UCR. But yeah, that's really it. I hope you guys were able to successfully set this up. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if you had any issues or just how you feel about it in general. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel for more Fortnite competitive tips and tricks. Use code JEDI2X in the Fortnite item shop to support me if you'd like. Thank you guys and peace.